throughout Kisvei Arizal, <coughs> in other Sifrei Kabbalah, the term Ein Self is used for the Rebbein Shalom. As every Shem Hashem, it does not describe the Mohos of Hashem. His Mohos is beyond the confines of our minds. All the terms in Shemos <coughs> are from our perspective, from our Tzad, Nitzidek. The Sefer Nefesh Chaim brings a Raya <coughs> that the term Ein Sof is only Nitzidek. In other words, only from our perspective. And this is because from his perspective, not only is, is he the Ain Self, but he's also the Ain Rashis. So why don't we call him the Ain Rashis? <coughs> because we talk because when we say Ain Self, we're referring to our perspective. And from our perspective, there was a Rashis. Rashis bar elokim. Sometimes we find in Sifri Kabbalah Mitzat Akash Baruch Kaviyachu from his perspective. But that's not what it means. It doesn't mean his perspective from himself. It means his perspective according to us. For example, I can talk about myself and my relationship with Ruve. I can describe our relationship from my perspective. And I could describe Ruvain's side of the relationship from my perspective as well. So when we talk about Hashem, we talk about the Ain Self. Number one, we could talk about it from our perspective. And number two, I could talk about it from Hashem's perspective, the way it relates to us, the way we look at his side. Another Introduction before we get to the text is we find that the Rebun Shalom's relationship with the world can be talked about in two ways. Number one, Sove Kol Almin, he's around the Bria. Okay, from according to Artsad, Rebun Shalom Kabyoch, we have a Bria, Rebun Shalom is outside the Bria. This Shefa or Chiyas that the Rebbe Shalom gives to our world is called the Or Makif. It surrounds the Bria. We can talk about another type of Or, or another type of Shefa, and that is called Or Pnim. This Or of the Ain Self is what, is what we call Mamalin Kol Alman. He fills the whole world. To the point that there's no Mitzias except for him. Okay. From 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 our mabat, from our perspective, the ain the or of the ain self, the or of the or pnim, enters into our world after many layers or wraps or levushim. This is called his slapshus oilamas, and that continues from oilam to oilam until it reaches our world. These levushim can also be called filters. Filters of oilamos. And we're going to talk about today seven oilamos or seven filters that are mislabish, that surround and enclose the, the or of the ain self, the or pinin of the ain self. And these seven oilamos are ak, adam kadmon. This oilam receives the or directly from the Ain Self. After that, we're going to talk about Atik, Atsilus, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. A good way to remember some of these worlds is from the bracha we make every morning. Yotze Or, Uvore Choshech. Oyse Shalom, Uvore Zakol. From that bracha we see Yitzira, Yotzer Or. We see Bria, Berechoshek, Oyer Berechoshek. And we see a Sia, Oyser Shalom. Okay, now let's read the text inside. I'm going to be reading from the Eitz Chaim. 
חלק א', שער בייז, ענף ג', פייג' י"ד. קולום 1, עומד א'. דברי מסלו והרי נסבר. הרי נסבר היטב, סדר היסלבשוס אולמוס. We're going to explain how the or comes down in this mislabesh, it's talking about the or penim, it's enclosed, it's enwrapped in the olamas. Risabe necha, ech ein sof mis'ale betoich olamas. And you will see, after the light comes down from the ein sof, it's going to meir and emanate in all of the olamas. The first oilum to accept the or penim of the Ein Sof is called the Ak, Odom Kadma. Achakach Atik. He doesn't say it, but we know after Atik is Atzilus, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. And I continue reading. Achinimsa ki kelim di Yosher, da Asiya, This ore, which is coming down, which is filling each oilam, continues until Asiya, and in each oilam you have two parts, you have Kalim, I'm sorry, you have Oiris, and then you have the Kalim that holds the Oiris of that particular world. So we're not talking about the Oiris of Asiya, we're talking about the Kalim of the Oiris of Asiya that accept the Or Pnim from the Ein Sof. At this point, the distance, if we could talk about distance, but of course, when we're talking about spirituality, there is no distance. But for our ears, when we talk about the distance between the Or Ein Sof in our world, it's, as, the, as the Rizal says, Rechoikim Ma'oid, from the or orth ain't so if pnimi betachos erichok. In other words, in our world, the or ain't so is in the pnimis of the world. We are considered the klipa surrounding the pre. Yet, the presence of the or ain't so is within our world. It's just filtered and clothed from oilum to oilum until it reaches us. That's part one. Part two, the Rizzo is going to talk about the Or Makif. But before I read this, I'd like to read to you another section, page later, on page Tessai Namad Aleph, where he talks about these two others. Okay. And in page Tessai Namad Aleph, Dibri Hamasko, the Acher, should be Arno, he says the following. Let's talk about Oiros and Kalim, light, and their Kalim that hold the Oiros. Ki bechinas Oiros, him atzmos haneshama, hapnimim, shibetoch Kalim. When we talk about the relationship of the Or and, and the Kli, we're talking about that the Or is like the neshama of the Kli, the Kli thereby being the Guf. There are two types of oiris. There's the or pnim, pnimi, and the or makif, which we've discussed in our, in our introduction. The Indian is that the or hamechaye, bamiira, the or that gives life and enlightenment into the yud sviris that are called kalim, because yud sviris. I looked at as Kalim for this light. The ore, therefore, is considered that it's mislabesh, it's enclosed within the Kalim, like we saw in your Dalit. Kedimian, this is, this is important. Kedimian the Shama Nechneses the Toch Abrahaguf. So when we talk about the ore vis a vis the Kalim, a dimion to this is the or of our neshama, our neshama itself, within our body. In this labesh betoch eivrei guf, it's enclosed within the body. 
It's mechaye oisem. That's our life force. It's mechaye the body. O mi'ir bohem pnimi oisem. And within our body, we feel that, hey, we have life. There's something within us. This is called orpani. So it can, it can, you can look at it in terms of the the shama to the goof, or you can look at it in terms of the or ain't self to Abu Kadmon, Atik, Atsilus, Asila. In other words, this, this relationship of or in goof, the shama, I'm sorry, or in Kalim, the shama and goof. Amna. What's the difference between these two oiris? The or, the or pnimi and the or makif. Not just as one is inside, one is outside. There's a double difference. Or pnimi, by definition, has to be mimuat. It has to be smaller. It has to be weaker. Liyosa yochol itztamtzeim, that it, it was able to limit itself. Uyuzlabish betoch kelim. For or pnim, to be mislabish into kelim, so the intensity of the ore, the power, the energy, however you want to say it, of the ore, when it reaches these lower oilamas, or kalim, or goof, has to be somewhat limited. The second type of ore, the ore godol mimenu, a greater ore, the ore which is so powerful, is so kadosh, that the kalim or the goof or the oilum is not able to hold it within itself. Lag bilo to limit it mitoch pinim yusam. Nishar bechinas or makifale. This type of ore, this greater type of ore, is not within the oilum. It's rather outside the oilum or outside the kli or outside the goof. Nishar mibechinas or makif alehem mibachutz. It's outside. And it's mayor from the outside towards the inside. Now this is a cloud for many Musagim in Kisri Rizal. And he writes, there's no or in all the Oilamas. She'en bo bechinas elu, she'en bechinas or pnima katan. That doesn't have the the aspect of the or, which is or pnim, which is smaller, weaker, or or makiv gadol, which is which is stronger, larger. That pnimi is hakli. This the or pnimi is what's inside the kli. The zeh makiv saviv mibachutz hakli. After this introduction, let's go back now to see the hemshech divrei rizal, the continuation. I'm back on your dalid. I'm at aleph. Okay, the words kach v'chein be'erech ein sof, and I'll start reading. Kein be'erech ein sof hasoved mivachutz. When we're talking about the ein sof, the or of the ein sof, meaning the or makif, hasoved mivachutz. Okay, from again, be'erech ein sof means from the mabat, from the side of the ein sof. Okay, which we explained already in our introduction, that when we talk about the sad of the Ein Sof, we mean the sad of the Ein Sof according to the way we understand it, not the way it is according to him. So again, Be'erech Ein Sof HaSoveid Mebachutz Al Kol Eilamos The Ein Sof, that Soveid Kol Almin, that's the Or Makif surrounding all the worlds, Nimtze Kelim Asiyah, it comes out, but the Kelim Dasiyah, which we said is our world, is where we live. The Kalim Chitzonim of the Oiris of Asiya, which is the lowest world, and the Kalim of the lowest world, is Rochok Mimeno Bitachas Arichuk. Again, from the Makif to the Kalim of Asiya, tremendous Rechuk. Shein Rochok Mimeno. There's nothing further than that. Lechein, Hakalim de Yoshud Asiya. The kalim of the Yoshud Asiya, in other words, the kalim that accept the or pnimi of Asiya, which is kalim chitzonim. Heim bi Yosef Gruyim, they're the lowest bemaila. Yosef mikol oilamas kulam, the lowest from all the oilamas. Sheheim ba oilam Asiya, nishaba oilam ashafo. 
They have the makeup of Oil Masia, which is the Oil Hashaf of the lowly world. Hachomri, Bitachlis Hagasais, Haobius Shein Kamahu. There are reasons who uses several synonyms to explain how far away we really are from the Orient self. Oilum Hashafo, the lowly world, Chomri, physical, Bitachlis Hagasis, Haobius, the thick physical world, Shein Kamahu, which has no dogma at all. Of course, in the higher worlds. Nimsa, Kikador Oris, the earth that we stand on, Shano Omdimbo, Hinehu and Nikuda Emtsais, it's the center. Shibacholoi Lamas Kula, Kain Garin Hatamara, like the pit of a date. Shube Emsa Ochel, Ba Ochel Makifo Nikol Stadov. Okay? So when we're talking about the Or Makif, we say that we're the center and the and the Ochel is surrounding us. So from our point of view, when we're talking about the Or Makif, there's a date. Imagine a date, food around the pit, and in the center of the of the date is a pit. That's the earth. The Kedusha, the Ormakiv, surrounds us. Okay? And we're the center. That's the way we look at it. The Orpnimi is the exact opposite. The Orpnimi, we're the Klipa. We're the outside of the fruit. And inside is the Orpnimi. This is all from our point of view. The Rizo comes and he says, but there's another way to look at it. And that's from his point of view. Again, to remind you, whenever we say from his point of view, we mean from his point of view the way it appears to us, from our point of view. And the Mabat of the Ein Sof, which surrounds everything, which is, in other words, the Oramakif, Adaraba. Oil Masiya is the Klipa. Hachofef is Al Kulam. The Olam, even in terms of Or Makif, we could still look at it that we're the Makif, even though we're calling it the Or Makif, which we explained later, meant the more powerful light than the Or Pnimi. How is that? Because from Hashem's point of view, and looking out, Kaviyacho, which is further away, and Mamela is as if it's Makif, the Or Makif. Again, from our point of view, we're the center, and the Ormakif is around us. From his point of view, he's the center, and all the Oilamois are around him. Let me read that again. From the Mabat of the Ein Sof, which is Sovev Hakol, from our point of view. From his point of view, Adraba. It's the furthest away. It's the klipa. It's outside the fruit. Right? Kaviyocho, he's the garin. Now, a garin is also a shorish for the next day tree. He's the shorish hakol. And if you come closer to the ain self, you actually... Coming closer, Pnimi, Achinimsa. Okay, here he's, he seems to be going back and forth. The Yosef Pnimi seems to be referring back to the Or Pnimi. Achinimsa, the Yud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're talking about the Or Makif here. When you're going Pnimi from his Mabat, because we're on the outside. In other words, we could look at us being the outside. From our point of view, when he's the or pnimi, or we could look at it at we are being the outside from his point of view when he's the or makif. So when we're coming closer inside, that is from his point of view, right? We're coming closer to this 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 incredible or makif. And as we go closer and closer, komashin is karav el einsoif hu yoisid pnimi, which is coming closer to the inside from his point of view. Achinim se yud agulim. Igulim, the ak, until we reach the ten 
Igulim, Igulim is referring to the Or Makif of Ak of Adam Kadmo. Kroivim el ain't so yois me kolilamois. Because that's the next step after Or ain't so is Ak. So he could either go the uh, Or Pnimi into the Vush of Ak, or we could say that it's an Or Makif into the Makif of Ak. And from his point of view, right, we're actually going from the outside in. Now we return back to what we said at the beginning of the paragraph. In the or ain't so pnimi nimsa ki oilamasia is again the clip of the koloilamas. It all depends from where you're looking at it. From our point of view, in the or pnimi, he's the pnimius of everything, of all the oilamas. And as your miscarriage to the ain soif, pnimius, you go deeper and closer and deeper inside. Notice how when we're talking about the pnimi, he says the yud is yosher, and we're talking about the or makif, we say the yud is igulim, because igulim is makif, and yosher is the kav where the ain sof is going in to the ja'ak, which then goes into atik, which then goes into atzilus. Okay, so if, if we're talking about or pnimi, we use the term yosher. If we're talking about or, or makif, we use the term igulim. I'm going to read it again. At shinim, so we go closer and closer to the or ain sof until we reach the yud spheris, the yosher, the ak, heim pnimi mikulam, heim mekablam or ain sof, and they are, at that point of ak, which we said is 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 right after the ain't sof. They are makabu the or ain't sof. Pinimi mamish tehilas hakol. That's where the or ain't sof is mislabish first into ak because it's closest to the or ain't sof. I'd like to now read from the Sefer Lukuti Maran and how the Maran, the, 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 the how, how Rav Nachman takes this Arizal and applies in language which is a little bit closer to our understanding. But before I read what I want to read, I just want to read a few, from, a few lines from the introduction. All the words of this Sefer, they're, they're deep understandings. Hidden Talking about very deep things. You won't find it the fairish in the terror. Only Derek Rem is the self. Kol Kisvir Rizal, the entire Kisvir Rizal, my mom, my mom, my Zohar, Tikunim, Kol Dake Kabbalah Kadosha, Kulim Ke Echot Kululim Bidivre, a Sefer Kadosh Azeb. All included in this sefer. Kol Torah v'Torah, every Torah that you that you read in in Lukuti Maran, midaberes mikavanas miuchodes meizim mitzvah. It's either talking about a kavana of a mitzvah that's talked about by the Mikubalim, shar kavanas of the Rizal, or mishar miuchad meitzchayim, or shar from meitzchayim. So, I want to look for a few minutes at Torah Lamed, Torah Lamed Gimel in First Chalik, Simon Beis. And I believe that in this paragraph, he discusses everything that we've discussed here in a slightly different lunch. Sorech Ladas, Shemole Kol Haaretz Kofoidev. Hashem is mulling all the world. He fills the whole world. Less atar panu There's nowhere, there's no place that there's not Hashem. Iu mimale kol almen. He fills all the worlds. Vesoyiv kol almen. Afidu misha oisik b'maso matin ba'ako. Person has a job working with God. But Yochel is not so long. He can't excuse him, and, excuse himself and say, "He after Mach was obvious, 
you can't blame me for not serving Hashem. I'm involved with obvious, with Gashmias, Shenov HaTamid Allah. If you remember, that's the Lushen we used, we said according to the Rizal, when we talked about this world. Oilam Shafa Chomri Tachlis Agas is obvious. Okay? This person is saying, I can't serve Hashem if there's so much Gashmias here, there's, there's so little Elokus. What do you want from me? I'm always with them. I'm always with their the way they speak, the way they act. Rachav from Hashem. What do you? So don't blame me for not being a, a great Oveik Hashem. That's wrong. No excuse. Kikvar gilu lano chachmin azikron lefracha shebechol dvar and gashmi. Everything in the world, even dvar and gashmi. Even in the language of the Goyim. You can find Elokus everywhere. In physical things and even in language. Ki below Elokusoi, and Ramach brings a Raya, without Elokus, Englehem Shum Chius, the Chius Cloud. There's no Chius or Kium, I'm sorry. There's nothing to keep it going, nothing to keep the intellectual sort of structure together. Like it says in the Chemia, you're the Chiyas of everything. So, of course, your presence has to be everywhere. Of course, Hashem was Mitzamten, He limited the Chiyas in the Kiyam. In order to mislabesh in this particular item, like we said, the difference between the or makif and the or pnimi. Or pnimi, by definition, has to be a little bit less, a little bit weaker, because it is mislabesh in, 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 a, in a lower form. It's enough to give it life, but no more. Ki Kodesh Baruch Hu tzimtzim es elokuso, ya Kodesh Baruch Hu limited his elokus. Shebe tzimtzum rabim vishonim. He limited, and this is talking about the Orpanimi, he limited his Elokus, Mereshis HaMachshava, from the time of Briz HaOilam, to Olo B'Machshava, to create the world. From that point, Ad Nekudis HaMerkaz SheOilam HaGashmi, until the center, which we said, right, that we considered the center, if you look at Mitzad the Ormachif, we're the center. Shalom Gashmi, Shusham Madur Klipos. And the Oilam Gashmis is a place of Klipos, a place of Tumor. Obuchom Mashmishtal Shal Yoisim, it's Tamsem Yoisim Amata. And as the light comes down, and it's Mit Tamsem, and Mit Tamsem, and it's getting more limited, and it's getting more Malubash in Oilamas, as we explained. Elokusa Malubash, Shum Malbushim Rabin Yosef. It's more and more hidden. It's Eshigilu Chazal. Pesach. Chazal revealed to us and opened up a, a Pesach Shamaskil, Yeda, the Yavin, Shibachola, Dvarim Gashmim, Yesh Elokus Bechis. And they revealed this to us. That even though from the surface it looks like, where's the Elokus? This is Gashmias. This is, this is Goyish. This is a Goyish language. This is a Goyish custom. I don't see Elokus. Our muna is that within the Gashmi that we see is Malubash and Mitsumsam Elokus. Kimashom Chazal, as Chazal say Menachos, Totafos. We know that Totafos means to fill in. But where does the word come from? Chazal Menachos says that the source is not Lashon Kaidish. Tat, the Kaspi, Shtayim. In the Lushan of the Kaspian, it means two. Pat, the Afriki, in the Afriki language, Stein is two. So I have two plus two is four, four batim in, in Totafos. Lodiyah Shabachol the in all the Shainas, not just these two languages, but all the Shainas, Yesham Elokus Hamachaya also. Maybe the Rebbe brings another raya from Yushami Tainus. 
in Yom Elcho Adam, if a person says, Heichan Elokecha, where's your God? Toimelo, tell him, the Krach Godel Shebereidi. Tell him, it's in the great capital of Rome. New York, Moscow, wherever you want. Shenemar, Keli Kori Misei. Hashem is calling me from Seir. Calls out from Seir. Nimsa Shazer Adam. Who's asking the question? The person that asked the question, Hechan Elokecha, the Vade Hu Mishuka Bimadur Klipas. He's obviously way down by the Klipas because he doesn't see Hashem in his life. He doesn't see Hashem in his world. Ki hoitzi is atzmo min a klau, the kaf of the ika. Elokecha, where is he? He's not even my God, he's your God. And where is he? He's obviously a koifer. But nidma loi shimun koimai, because it appears to him in his world, ain sham elokim. Bechain taimolo, and you respond to him. Afilu bim koimcha, even in in your place, shata mishuka, I'm going to reread the result. The Shamba Oil Masia, Nishaba Oil Hashafo, Chomri, Tachlitz Agassus, Abishen Kamahu. There you'll find the Or Pnimi. Gam ki Sham Tukhalim Sail Kuso. So I say, you want to know where God is? The crack God of Shabbat in your place where you live. Ki hu mechay zakol. He has to be there. Because how does it continue? How does it exist? It can only exist with the Or Pnimi of Hashem. Ki Moshe Kotov ato mechay is kulam. U misham ato yochol edabek et atzmacha bo yizbara. And in your place, you can find the Or Pnimi of Hashem. And you can be dubbik to that Or Pnimi. You can do tshuva right here and now without moving. Tshuva is not far away from you. Tshuva is right here. You don't see it. You don't see the orpanimi. But he's here. You just don't see it because of the levushim as we said that the, as the or ain't so descends. Lower and lower, it goes into Lubushim, of Lubushim, of Lubushim. More and more, it seems to not, not visible. But our moon is that it's there. Komasha Adam Hoydech Be Madrega Madrega Na Fakert. Once he does Tshuva, and he goes higher and higher, higher Madregas, Hu Miskar of Yoyse El Hashem Isbarach, he's coming closer to the Or Pnimi, less Lubushim. Yochol Leida Es Hashem Isbarach Behavani Yaseira, Less levushim means more understanding of Hashem. Ki kol mashe b'madrega yoisel yoyna nismatu al levushim. It becomes more and more clear, more and more strong, more and more less covered by levushim. Nismayet atzimtum and less tzimtum. Oz hu mekur b'yoisel Hashem isbarach. He comes closer to Hashem. Yocholev et atzmo li Hashem isbarach b'abiyaseira. And the higher he goes, the more and more he can love Hashem. More and more, he recognizes how much a part of Hashem is with him in his life, in his world.